Hey folks, it's Antar, and welcome to my 55th narrated Wi-Fi battle, going against a random opponent on Wi-Fi here using my Jane team, that's my new UU doubles team. Um, so looking at his Pokemon, I, tr I decide that I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my standard lead set, which is Soul Rock and Lantern, um, and Licky Licky for the number 3, and um, Drift Bloom for the number 4 in case I want to do any exploding. Um, so. You know, he's not using any Ubers, um, and he's using a good mix of Pokemon, so I'm hoping this will be a really nice battle. Um, and Gateway Coliseum is one of the uh, more interesting, I think. Uh, and so anyway, here we go. Uh, he leads off with Drabion and um, what, Espeon, so um, while he goes ahead and uh, uses Combine on Espeon, I'm going to go ahead and use my standard first round set, because I'm going to want to be able to take out Drapion with Earthquake. Um, so I'm going to need uh, Lantern to be in the air. Uh, Crunch does a whole lot of damage to Solrock, and I was really worried it would take it out, but Solrock does survive because it's got pretty high defenses. And so I do manage to get off the skill swap, which is good. Um, and so I will get some healing action with that discharge. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do in my next turn because um, these guys are faster. Um, but he I get uh, some Parahacks. Uh, yeah, I get Parahacks uh, thanks to Synchronize. But I actually paralyzed both of his guys, which was extremely lucky. So that was actually really cool. And so now um, Solrock should at least be faster, and so as long as he doesn't do any switching out, I should be able to take out Drapion. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing Discharge, not because it's doing a lot of damage, but because um, I want to get some recovery action on um, Solrock. So Earthquake does in fact take out uh, his Drapion, um, and, uh, but it doesn't take out Espeon. Um, I'm hoping that the Discharge will finish it off, um, but maybe not. Uh, Espeon uses Psychic, um, but Lantern is a special tank, and so even after a Calm Mind, that doesn't do too much, although I do get the special defense drop, which isn't great. So here comes the Discharge. Uh, Soul Rock recovers its health, uh, and so now it's back up to about 50%. Um, and, but after a Calm Mind, it's really not doing much to Espeon, so, oh well. Uh, got some Leftovers Recovery action going on, and, uh, my opponent sends out, uh, Leafeon. So, um, I figure that someone's gonna be targeting, uh, my Soul Rock, so I'm gonna switch into Driplum, expecting, um, I actually switched out both my Pokemon, um, because I just really don't think this is a good matchup, so, um, I'm hoping for the Leaf Blade to be targeting um, uh, Emily, who would have resisted it, but instead it hits Licky Licky and does about half, considering it was a crit. Um, so here comes a Morning Sun on Espeon, which restores its health a lot, which is a shame because after a Calm Mind, that thing's going to be freaking hard to kill. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to lower their speeds uh, so that I can, you know, have priority against them. Um, power Whip, uh, you know, to just deal some damage. Uh, so here comes Icy Wind. It's a super effective hit on uh, Leafeon and does a fair amount of damage, um, but the important part is that it lowers both of their speeds. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Leafeon goes ahead and uses Leaf Blade, uh, which, you know, I know it's not going to take out Licky Licky barring a crit, um, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. It activated Licky Licky's Cutstop Air, and then I realized, wait, why did it activate it this turn? It should have activated it next turn. That wasn't good. What the heck? What happened there? I mean, it looks like what happened is that... No, I mean, I don't know how fast... I don't know whether um, Licky Licky would have gone after um, Espeon without the Custap Berry, but that's really strange. I thought Custap Berry only activated on the first of a turn. Anyway, it's really weird. Um, I'm going to keep on doing Icy Wind um, just to try to, you know, get his Pokemon as slow as possible. Um, so that uh, I can take him out with um, my guys, I can outspeed him with my guys. So anyway, Icy Wind does take out Espeon, who had just been, you know, taking a whole bunch of hits. Here comes Rock Slide, which um, gets a, a boosted power from the fact that Leafeon's the only one left on the field, um, and considering that Leafeon doesn't resist it or anything, it goes down. So uh, I'm doing pretty well so far this match, and now he's down to his uh, last Pokemon, um, which turns out to be Empoleon. So, not really anyone out that can do a lot to Empoleon. To consider what to do, um, I decide I'm going to go ahead and Calm Mind. Uh, Soul Rock, you know, it, it's probably going to die. Um, I'd, consider doing, um, I'd consider doing Explosion, but uh, Empoleon resists it, so I don't want to risk it. Uh, instead, I'd go ahead and use Earthquake 
um, hoping for the super effective hit. Um, anyway, it doesn't affect Driftblum. I was worrying, wondering what did that miss, or did he have a, a fairy or something? But no, it hits. Uh, does not take out Empoleon because Empoleon's pretty darn bulky. Um, and Solar Rock's down to not that much HP, and Empoleon uses Flash Cannon, which I was not expecting. I was expecting a Water-type move. But anyway, Flash Cannon uh, KOs um, my Solar Rock, well, with it being a super effective hit and Solar Rock already being pretty low in health. So I go ahead and send out Lantern uh, as my last Pokémon. Um, Driftlin, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Shadow Ball. Um, with and Lantern, I'm going to go ahead and use Discharge, even though it'll hit uh, Driftlum for a super effective hit. Um, it'll also hit Empoleon for a super effective hit, and, you know, I'm up enough Pokemon that I don't really... I mean, if Driftlum has to be sacrificed, then it does. But it turns out it's a moot point. Shadow Ball at plus one um, takes out Empoleon, and I have won the match pretty handily, which is nice. Yeah, this is a really amazing team. I'm really, really happy with this team. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and see you next week.